know, how does it feel to win an award like this when uh, representing like a soccer region? Yeah, it's a it's a great honor, and I'm I'm very grateful for the association for for the recognition. It means a lot to me. But yeah, overall, overall as I said uh, on the stage, the award is is simply a testament to all the people who have been supporting me, my loved ones, my coaches, and my fellow teammates. Looking um, back at the uh, African Football League, which obviously <laughs> you were the star player in, uh, how's that memory now of, 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 being, of playing in that tournament the, the first time, the, the first edition of that tournament? Yeah, it, did, oh, it, was, it was huge for me because it was my first continental club competition. It was kind of hard, physical, very physical, but yeah, we managed to pull through and I managed to perform at my level best. How is the injury now? Yeah, it's getting, it's getting better, a few weeks, in a few weeks time actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a season with the up and downs, um, stops and starts. But yeah, it's been a good season for me. My my, my first season at Mavrodi Sundowns. It's been okay. I can't say it's been good, but it's been okay because of the injuries, of course. But yeah, it's been a, it's been a first season. It's, it's been fair enough. Did you think at the end of it you'd be you know, holding two awards and a league trophy and potentially a NetBank Cup as well? No, no chance. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. If you had to summarize your growth as a footballer coming through the ranks, coming through Disco Challenge, Super Sport, Sundowns, and now this award, and I mean, you recognize now the continent, how would you summarize? your career growth, when you just look at just how far you've come and all those who've added value along the way uh, on your football journey. Yeah, I still believe I'm, I'm, I'm still very, I'm still a very raw player, a, a, raw, a raw player because, yeah, things have been happening so quick for me. I played one season in the NDC, I played one season at Supersport in the professional ranks and got signed by the, one of the best teams in Africa. So things have been going very fast for me, but yeah, I'm trying to adjust and be at my level best. What would you know your hope for, for, for next season? Of course, I'm, I'm sure you want to be injured. I feel like it's a, also been a bit strange. I mean, 20, you were not expected to get injured so much, but you know, yeah. Yeah, uh, for next season, is. The, the goal is to obviously stay in Java free and yeah, try to be on the pitch as much as possible. Who are your mentors? Just a, uh, yeah, it was heartbreaking, honestly. It was, oh, it was tough for us to take. But yeah, we'll try again. Uh, for the Club World Cup, uh, it will be it will be a good stage to test uh, where we are as a team, to test our abilities to at the highest stage of any club uh, football competition. Tapelo, who are your mentors when you look at um, just how we also lose a lot of young footballers who are coming from the ranks? With the amount of success we have now at the age that you are at, who are your mentors who's keeping you grounded, who's keeping you disciplined? Uh, obviously, my coach, Coach Gulani, is is making sure that I stay ten toes in the ground. And also, my parents, my parents have been there for me, making sure that they are, they're there for me and to support me. Yeah. Any senior players you've had a relationship with over the few years in your career? Ah, Debza, I still to Debza a lot. To yeah, Ronan. Ronan has been there for me since, yeah, since, yeah, he, he has been there for me. Thanks, Thanks Thank you.